Now I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the LG booth here at the IFA 2010 Tech Show in Berlin, starting with this mammoth LEX9 TV. LG says it's the largest 3D LED TV and at 72 inches, I'm not going to doubt it. Uh, it is huge, it's going to fill your room, but it's also going to fill your vision so you're not going to see that real 3D world in your peripherals. You really are absorbed in the 3D experience. Next up we have the LEX8 TV. Now this is what LG describes as being the first nano full LED TV. So you've got several different types of LED TV. First up, you've got the backlit LED TV, where there are LEDs dotted all around the back of the panel. Now that gives a really bright picture because you can have isolated dimming. However, the panels are that little bit thicker. Then you've got the edge lit LED TV, when the LEDs are just around the edge. Now that enables you to have a thinner panel, but the picture quality hasn't been quite so good. LG says that this is a full backlit LED TV, but it's as thin as an edge lit LED TV. So it has the thin panel, but it also has the benefits of isolated dimming. And the final piece in LG's LED jigsaw is the OLED TVs, the organic light emitting diode TVs. Now these are super slim, 31 inches. Like the nano TV that we just saw, these are also 3D capable, both in prototype formats at the moment, but we expect they might be launching within the next year. Now all the three models that we've just looked at are all 3D capable, and LG is continuing its 3D theme by announcing a 3D partnership with Sky, whereas Sky are saying that LG is their default selection for 3D TVs. And that's largely thanks to the passive technology that doesn't require the active shutters, so you can watch the 3D sports in a pub. Now to help get the 3D message across to consumers, LG are installing these point of sale 3D glasses. They're quite funny, but it does mean fewer tangled cables and the ear defenders should isolate any sound so you get the full TV experience when you're trying out your TV in the shop. And then moving on from 3D TV, LG is also singing about its smart TV. Now we've heard of smartphones, these are phones that are able to do more than just make phone calls. Well, smart TVs are able to do more than just show TV programs. You plug them into the internet, you use DLNA connectivity to access videos saved on your PC or your laptops, and it offers so much more, a more widget-based access to internet content. And that might be video clips, or it could be apps such as weather, news, and the like. Now, we'll be looking in depth at the internet connectivity possibilities of lots of TVs, not just from LG, but from a host of manufacturers. And we'll also be testing the 3D-ness of all these models and the quality of that 3D picture and seeing how these LG 3D TVs compare with other models from the likes of Samsung, Sony, and Panasonic. So for all that information, make sure you go to witch.co.uk.